Sean wants you. Over in the comms tent. Yep. Thanks, Dill. Rudwell, LDF just put the boot in. They went all this fritzed in 48 hours. 48 fucking hours. Never mind our permits for the roads aren't valid yet. Or, or, or the fact that the NMCCs are all choked. No, oh, ah, the Blue Hells want us gone. Cancel the exercises by all means. But this, this is suicide by logistics. I swear, if the Russians invade, it couldn't be too fucking soon. Listen, it's all hands on deck. Even the colonel's out there, hitting corners. I need everyone to do the same. Not a problem, sir. He didn't let me finish. I need everyone, including that slack-ass corporal. Corporal Stipe. I love that I don't have to explain myself to you, specialist. But then I guess that's what makes you so special. He's on task, carting our literal shit over to the burn pit. And sorry to say, I want you to tag along. Stop him from getting on the business end of an MP's nightstick. Roger that. Things are tense enough as it is. The Livonian Defense Force have the accident area locked down. You know why? I just got the word. Highly toxic vapors. In addition to structural instability, that factory is sitting on a landfill of chemical crap. Methyl isocyanate. Apparently it's really fucky stuff. LDF began evacuating Nodbor this morning, and the radius of effects only getting bigger. So, PPE will be mandatory from zero hundred hours. Oh, sir, uh, Norad's on the line here. Patch it through to the LC's office, would you, Keats? In the meantime, you're hauling ass. There's a loaded helmet over by the main gate. There we have our Corporal Stipe. Hey, Major wants me with you. What? Are you his stoolie now? Okay, fine. I gotta ask a little favor first. The fuck you will, Jack. Last one I did for you got me NJP'd. <laughs> yeah. Could you just swing by the armory? Pick up my M-Spec device? I'd go myself, but, you know, reasons. I thought we were on a garbage run. Sure. But there's something I gotta do on route. Okay, let's pick up his uh, Spectrum device. Baker, Corporal Stipe wants his doohickey. Right. Spectrum device? There's one in the back of the Faraday cage. Nice improv in here. You still expecting World War Three? Doomsday clock. It's one minute two. driving then I'd say that's a reasonable assumption you're gonna give me directions or just be a prick all night directions oh you really have been living the high life haven't you Rudd? doesn't know how to get to the good old black goops fit follow the road princess <laughs> you mean the smell ah there we go that's the spirit So, what's this thing you gotta do? About that. Turn 
right. Oh, it's not through the roadblock. Do you think the Russians duped the drone? The factory? Come on, I don't want to keep going over that. It was bad and it happened. End of. You want to tell me what we're doing? Hasn't anything struck you as kind of strange lately? Yeah. Life is strange. What's your point? My point? You hear that shit about a chemical leak? Yeah. You hear we got 48 hours to get our asses stateside? Yeah. Because I'm hearing everything. Because it's all out there, tingling on the airwaves, Rudd. You don't believe me? Try the spectrum device. You see the transmitter tower? Focus the triangular antenna at it. And, uh, switch to detail mode. On your screen, you got wavy lines. Waves, Jack. Yeah. Our electromagnetic sea. Now, in with those, there's a peak. That indicates activity. There's also a vertical bar. Slide that over to the signal while you're aiming at the source. Music. Huh. It's modulating the signal, too. That's not all. The LDF? They're using pretty basic encryption. Scramblers? Yeah, poor bastards. Hard as nails, dumb as planks. You cracked their comsec. In a way. I swiped a couple grams of modafino from the medic supplies at Point Hopi, and exchanged it with a militia nut for the price of a genuine bluebell radio and its crypto key. Oh, Christ. Okay, so, go ahead. There ought to be some chatter, bouncing between whatever's going on at the factory and the burn pit, a short ways up the road. Oh, and, yeah, don't forget to adjust the vertical frequency band. Otherwise, all you'll get is static. You used to be a translator, right? You get any of that? They're not talking about an industrial disaster, are they? You think this is a cover-up? I asked around about the factory. There was never any landfill there. The Soviets built it on top of an old sawmill. And as for that thing we saw in the sinkhole, I, I got nothing. You hear that? Sounds like a helo. Moving target. Try and catch him as he comes over. Nicely done. I guess you're going somewhere with this. I need a wingman. No. No, what you need's a fall guy. You are the fall guy, Rudd. The blue on blue. The loss of face. The protests. The politics. If the DOD can't pin it all on Russia, who you think they're gonna come to next? The LT? Or the pissed off linguist? Last scene, on that day, on a roof, with a fucking drone jammer. Yeah, I was with you, jackass. Or did you forget? No, I didn't forget. Drive us to the burn pit. And don't sweat it, I got a plan. Well, he's got a plan. How the hell did you wind up in the army, Jack? Well, I'm not gonna say it was a join up or go to jail sort of deal. 
but uh <laughs> nah I'm throwing the bullshit flag on that one pal. Whoa, okay I get it I get it we can shut up and you can drive fast Jesus, that stench! Bet you can feel it coating up your lungs already, huh? Well, you got a choice. It's either step out of the cab and we shovel shit, or I run you through the plan, which I may add does not involve sucking in the sweet stuff. Okay. You in? Depends. You gonna get me killed? Not if you don't do anything stupid, I won't. Look, we're right next to the LDF's restricted zone. I'll distract the guards while you get near the factory. I made a load of notes on your map. Infill, exfill, plus a vantage point. Did you jimmy my footlocker to do that? <laughs> yeah. Fuck you very much. Yo, you're welcome. Soon as we hop out, beeline for the corner wall. There's a break which leads down into a gully. Uh, what's a gully? Six languages, and you don't know what a gully is. I'm disappointed. All right, so come on, let's do this. Hey, free bed. Let's get out of here fast. And what he said, get into the gully. So, we are on our own. On our way to the, uh, the factory. And let's see actually what we, uh, what we got on the map here. Um, so. We're actually here, and uh, this is the gully he meant. Following this to the uh, vantage point, get uh, a look over the uh, over the factory side here. So uh, let's move out. So it's a restricted zone, so there are probably some um, some patrols and some. Uh, uh, roadblocks over here. Well, we're not on the road, so. How's it going, Rudd? Yeah. Remind me why I'm doing this. Because you didn't want to play in Dookie or end up in prison. You probably speak Russian, right? I'm not a sleeper agent. No, I know. Just don't shoot anyone. The Bluebells may be dicks, but uh, they're fighting for the good guys. <laughs> the world really is a black and white for you. What? Never mind. Careful as you go down, and if you got it on, watch out for the flashlight on your spectrum device. I'm gonna shake things up a little. This, um, Corporal Stipe, he's a strange one. Could I... No, they're saying nothing. Okay, let's move out. So there got to be some uh, patrols out here. Let's uh, watch out for those. But we are a lot of ways from the uh, from the factory for now, so. Come in. Jack, talk to me. I'm hearing shots fired. Come in. Quite the diversion, ain't it? What the fuck did you just do? Relax, they're blanks. I chucked them in our crap barrel. Son of a bitch. Avoid roads and find a gap in their lines to sneak through. That's bought you a small window of opportunity. Better use it. There's actually a car up here. Let's watch out for that. Yeah, it's moving over the road there. And 
there's some infantry. Let's uh, wait the uh, till they're left. Oh, I think we're clear. They're moving up there, so. Yeah, it's a checkpoint. They just set up camp here, looks like it. Let's uh, get out of here. at the uh, vantage point then. It's probably uh, behind this big rock here. That's the pyro container you talked about. And we've got a great view of the uh, factory here. Jack, you ain't gonna believe this. You were right. It's a black site. The LDF are building a dome over the sinkhole. I fucking knew it. I've seen a place like this before. Okay, this is what you're gonna do. The Spectrum device, it auto-records by default. Get any intel you can. We're gonna blow this whole thing open. Shit's getting stranger by the second. There's a Scottish guy here, and he mentioned there's a second site. On the hill, where Point Dakota was. I'm not far off. It's quiet. One truck, not many lights. I reckon a half a click from the RV. Just check that fancy map of yours. You're saying you want me to go, scope it out? Sure, why not? Because it's crazy. I'll never get through the factory. So don't go around or cut through. I don't care. But you gotta get a look in at that other location. The answers we need are there, I know it. So, let's move up there then. Um, let's see. Uh, let's take a look at our map. So, we need to go there. Uh, best way, I think, is to go um, this way. Pass through there and uh, go up the hill, follow this into the forest. Uh, why not? Why that route? Because we can avoid this uh, crossroads. There are probably some guys up there. Otherwise, there are some patrols in those roads, but let's see if you can do that. Don't need to get uh, 
Goth Rider now. Trolls. Nobody up here. And we get some cover from the uh, from the forest. So let's see. Actually here right now. Go under the uh, the pipes and across the road. Pass by this hill. Yeah. It's um. Bit misty down here. That's good for us. We got the uh, more cover. Also, when they're not uh, running their flashlights, you don't see them coming. So that's a little scary. And this is a little too open for my taste. A lot crossroads. And we're in the clear. Mostly. Get in there. Now we have to cross the other roads. Or roads. This point that there's nobody in those compounds. Don't see anybody from here, so that's good. Let's keep it that way. Want to come across any patrols right now? Jesus, that scared me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> okay, we're good. Actually. There's a car there with another checkpoint, so can cross right now. And nobody saw us. That's not good. Alarms are going off. Nothing to do with me. You sure you didn't get spotted? Okay, wait. I got a view from here. Definitely a lot of movement. Yeah, something's got them on edge. Stay on track. If it ain't us, it's more chaos we can use.
Let's see, where is the uh, other side they found? It has to be here somewhere. How close am I? Jack, you copy? Let's see, up here somewhere. What you got? Not a lot, though I'm close to our zone of interest. Great. Listen, there's gonna be at least a few LDF guys on guard there. You'll need to get creative. The Spectrum device has a signal library, and in that library, there's a signal, a message, from a jumped-up Bluebell Colonel. If we're lucky, we can deceive the sentries, send them off fuck knows where. Station names haven't changed since the exercises. Grey Wolf's still in command, and everyone else is using the standard NATO alphabet. That squad out there? We just gotta find out who they are. And how do we do that? Should be easy. Bring up the signal library screen. Okay, I'm there. Switch to the music you recorded. If you send that signal in the direction of the squad on the company frequency, they'll radio HQ and report interference. That means you'll get to hear their call sign. You can then check the library again, see if there's an address to match their ID. If there is, use it. Same as with the music. Once they respond, select that movement order I told you about and relay it to them. Just don't broadcast shit randomly. If they realize they're the subject of electronic deception, they'll go dark. Same with the entire combat net. It all goes down. And we want to keep them talking. Exactly. But, uh, keep in mind, to hear both speakers in a conversation, you may have to redirect the device, unless they're more or less aligned. You can only detect what you're pointing at. Is there anything else I need to know? Yeah, and it's important. When impersonating a station, be careful about your background trajectory. You really don't want anyone receiving sent messages. It'll give the game away. Just transmit the music, listen for a response, pose as Grey Wolf, contact them specifically, and issue our fake command. Fine, got it. Uh, what if I hit a rut? Then you can figure out how to make your own distraction. Well, let's see how they do that. So uh, let's send this to them. And that's probably enough. Okay, so the screen says they're Delta. I didn't hear anything. Delta to Shareville, Oddview. I don't know why I'm hearing nothing from them. I sent them east. Okay, well that's not working. Okay, now we're hearing that. Okay, 
śladów aktywności wroga. Odbiór. Okay, we didn't. In Reese or something. It's me. I can't believe it. They bought it. Oh, ye of little faith. Once they're gone, get a look in. Well, there they come. Move out. Sorry, no answers. The only questions. What? Knock it off with that mystic shit. Is it another one of those things? Yeah. They dug it up. Looks like they were doing tests on it or some kind of fumigation. Can you cut a piece of it off and take it with you? <laughs> you can fuck right off if you think I'm gonna touch it. Okay. Can you lift a laptop or something? Too risky. Once they see stuff missing, they'll be on us. Shit, wait. I got a USB stick on a keychain. Alien incoming. This is not gonna work. Oh no. There's a helo. I know. Bug out, I ain't kidding. Just another two seconds. Only get yourself killed if you did something stupid, bro. This is it. Got it. the fucking helicopter. Did you see what happened? No, negative. Power surge. All the lights are out. Everywhere. Big like hell. North. Head north. To the tree line. There's a ranger's cabin in the forest. Let's get out of here. They probably you think, think that. Uh... Gotta be. Atmosphere at EMP. It's that or they just went nuclear on us. Our radios? No, wait, you idiot. The LDF. You're gonna give away my position. And he just did it. There's the flare. Just moving over this field. Nothing to see. Let's see. Let's get to the flare. So we did got some uh, files of the of that uh, computer back there. I don't know if uh, that's uh, coming back later in the story. Let's hold up for a second so I can run.
probably where the smoke is. in the place now. Oh, that's a great idea, Jack. Start a fire. Let's kick back, roast some fucking marshmallows. It ain't my fault. <sighs> Maybe we can help it spread, huh? Burn the whole goddamn world, yeah? Hey, it ain't my fault. Flare came down on the roof. Not your fault? Not your fault? How's this anything but your fault? Oh, if the price of stupid goes up five bucks a barrel, I'm drilling a hole in your head first, pal. Hey, asshole. Don't go shooting off fancy fighting words if you ain't got the brass neck to back them up. Whoa. Mother of God. That's one big uh, alien ship, right? And the rocks, barrels, and guards are flying right now. So, 